My name is, is Kelly Plitz, and um, I'm here today in a coaching and riding capacity. We've got some students here from Dreamcrest Farm. My husband, Ian Roberts, is riding um, three horses today, and um, I'm riding one, and then we have students who are riding. So we brought up ten, ten horses from from the farm. I've been in the business for a while. My husband and I are partners. Um, We've, um, we've been basically riding all our lives and been fortunate enough to make a business out of our passion, been able to continue riding through, through our business. We do a riding school and we also coach um, competitors in, in eventing and we continue to r ride. I don't ride at the highest levels anymore. I enjoy bringing young horses along. But my husband, Ian, um, rides at the, the higher levels and is a listed rider for the, for the Canadian equestrian team, as well as our son, um, Waylon, who rides as well, and he's in the, in the U.S. right now. I, I started riding as a kid and did the, the hunter jumpers for a while, did a little bit of pony club, and didn't discover eventing until the late 70s. Um, and then I was hooked and within about four years I went from just starting eventing but I was a quite a competent rider at that point in time um, to representing Canada at the World Championships and at the Olympic Games with a, a horse that um, I bought um, who was a, a track reject, um, but a quarter horse track reject, and, and we came up through the, the levels together. Her name was Dial a Dream, and that's why my business is called Dreamcrest. It's, um, she basically was what enabled me to, uh, to do what I did. Alex Peacock Cattle Company in Ajax, um, I, over the years, uh, being a, a youngster in that area, growing up in that area, I kind of bought and sold horses a lot with with Alex and and Norm, who's his son now. Actually, Norm's granddaughter rides with us, and she's 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 learning she's learning the ropes. Um, but uh, he bought her. Um, Alex bought her down in in Oklahoma, and brought her north to. Uh, because they have a quarter horse track in Ajax. And I saw her in the barn and liked her. He actually wouldn't sell her to me because she had a, a reputation of not being a safe horse, but I insisted and, uh, and, and, and bought her. Well, when I saw her, actually, the cowboy who worked for, for Norm put a Western saddle on because he just rode everything Western and he said he would not get on her because she was just two I think at the time but he didn't feel safe getting on her so he just let her go in the arena and she just did this amazing extended trot from one side of the arena to the other side of the arena and I said okay I, I want her and I traded my um, hunter mare for her and I had to come up with with a little bit of money too but she was like priced at twenty five hundred dollars <laughs> But but she also fell on me, and you know I, I mean we 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 had a you know we we went to Cordorama we we did the quarter horse thing um, initially and did all that um, first and then I discovered eventing because I got her and think about I don't know seventy five um, and then we didn't start eventing till seventy eight so I did other things with her first. Well, eventing is, um, I've done a lot of other horse equestrian sports over the years and, and like I said, didn't discover eventing till around 1978, but it's, it's really, it's, it's so much fun. It's, um, we do a little bit of dressage, um, which is, um, so I guess you could compare it to um, doing figures on ice and, and, and for, for figure skaters, it's, it's kind of, you do figures in, in a ring and you have to be accurate um, with the horses. And then, uh, and then we do um, the cross country riding, which is really the meat of the sport. And that's if you event, that's what you enjoy doing best it, or the most is the cross country. And you get to jump over, you know, hill and dale over 
stone walls and ditches and and it's a lot of fun. And then uh, we also do the stadium jumping, which is over fences like they do at Spruce Meadows, and but not quite as high. I've always been interested in developing horses. I was just fortunate enough um, with that, the, you know, with the Dial a Dream horse that she just kept on rising to the occasion. Um, and then I, I have had my hand in purchasing a few other horses. I, um, Ian's had uh, a horse that went to the Olympics that we we purchased together. Um, it it was um, and it went to the 04 Olympics and we purchased it in in New Zealand. We we have gone all over the world with the horses, looking looking for horses. Um, there's a certain look in their eye, um, a certain type that you look for and it's just it's really a feeling because there's lower levels eventing suited to to any horse and um, um, I have my school ponies um, my riding school horses that compete at the lower levels with my students and they're certainly not going to go at the higher levels but the lower levels you virtually um, you take ponies in or, or different horses like that that might be specialized for, for for different types of sports but at the lower levels really it's open to um, any type of horse and any rider basically that's capable of, of, of jumping um, say up to like probably it starts around three foot six so that, I mean two foot six so that's at around 80 centimeters so it, it, it's quite it's quite available. There's a, an initial entry level that is low. Um, there's a pre-entry level I think that starts at about 70 centimeters and then it goes up from there. It goes basically in increments of 10. So 70 centimeters, 80 centimeters, and then 90 centimeters to a meter and then up from there until you get to advanced which is um, around um, a meter, a meter 20. My husband, um, Ian Roberts, is, is one of the, the horses, one of the riders with his horse that is being considered for um, the, uh, the Pan American team. And my son, uh, Waylon, also has a horse that's being, con they're being considered for the Pan American team. So it's kind of exciting. Whalen did uh, ride at the Pan American Games in uh, in Rio in 07, and won a silver medal there on the team. So, um, you know, and I'm sure he'd he'd love to ride uh, in his own country. You know, Ian and Whalen's goal is to is to ride on a team together. I I, I don't think it'll ever be uh, son and father and mother, <laughs> but. Uh, it, um, you're just getting too greedy at that point. <laughs> yes, it's just too much. <laughs> Actually, our whole family is not involved because I have a younger son who's um, who's 12, and I think that he is he, he's too intimidated to ride. Um, so he speed skates. So he doesn't he he doesn't do the riding, but he's um, so it's it's kind of nice to have um, somebody in the family who has a different interest. Yeah, it keeps. Uh, keeps it a variety of, of conversation at the dinner table. Um, well, we, um, we, we enjoy developing riders. We've developed a lot of, of, of top riders over, over the years. Um, um, Jess, Jessica Phoenix, who used to be Jessica Ferguson, rode with us when she was a little girl. And, um, and, and so, so we've developed a lot of young riders from, from our farm over, over the years and and um, and we'll continue to do that as as well as horses um, and just I guess continue doing doing what we're doing and and um, as as it evolves we also hold um, events at the farm and we had the Ontario championships there in um, four years ago in, in 2010. Get involved, it, 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 it's fun, it, um, like anything, it, uh, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Um, but uh, I always say riding's very simple, but it's not easy. And, um, you know, it's, it's, 
just a matter of being dedicated and 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 depending on how much time effort and money you know you want to put into it you can do it very casually at the lower levels and do well or you can get very committed and um, and work your way up through the levels and and um, and it's it's just a, a sport that um, is available to a lot of people actually the the, the horse that Whalen's riding right now Whalen Roberts is riding right now it's a horse called Bill Owen and he um, won the eventing at the Royal um, he's uh, by Money Talks and out of a Hackney mare. He's an Ontario bred horse. He's at the two-star level. And thoroughbreds are exceptional horses in the sport because of the gallop. But these days, with the dressage being at such a high level and the stadium jumping being much more precise than it was, say, 30 years ago when I was at that level. Um, the warm bloods and the Euro European bred horses and are d dominating. Ian was uh, the coach for the young riders, and um, actually, he's um, um, he's actually the national coach coach for Costa Rica at the moment, and we have. Um, uh, one of the riders here this weekend, um, Leonor, and she's riding a horse called um, Check Check Out the Charmer, and um, she is getting this horse ready for the Central American Games in Mexico in November, and Ian will be coaching there. So um, the sport in in uh, in Costa Rica's in its infancy, and Ian's helping them develop it right now. We're getting it at the one-star level, and then they're hoping to not for next year's Pan American Games, but the following Pan American Games get have a team ready for that. So we're 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 trying to um, develop the sport not just within our own country and province, but worldwide.